Want to know who the best is? That's him, Iceman. I predict that this <laughs> nose section cockpit of the Revell F14 Tomcat is going to take as long to finish as it was to build the whole dang thing. So what I've had to do uh, to get these Tamiya parts to fit is just if you want to have an update, um, I'm kit bashing some of these surplus Tamiya parts to the Revell kit because I want to use the Revell cockpit base which actually fits quite nicely in the um, uh, inside the, the fuselage pieces so I want to keep the fit issues to a minimum however I've had to do a fair bit of modification so uh, I've put in a few parts from the Revell into the Tamiya combings like that and then to get them to fit I've had to use quite a bit of evergreen uh, if you don't know what evergreen is it's this evergreen stock that comes in different thicknesses and sizes I've got a whole drawer full of them and I've had to build up a fair bit mainly because of my fault I took away too much uh, of meat of the original Revell combing and I had to build it up again and I had to plug some holes so I've had to do that and also uh, it's a consequence of you know trial and error fit one thing and it doesn't fit next the Tamiya cockpit seats or Tamiya cockpit the, the ejection seats from Tamiya were too tall because I had to I got everything to fit everything was working nicely then I thought okay what are they like inside the you know they fit nicely in there yeah nice snug fit and you know got the right angle and everything great well let's put the canopy on just to make sure because this is a this happens it happens even in regular normal kits yeah both of them particularly the rear the back seat uh, the cockpit the ejection seat wouldn't fit under the canopy so I've had to modify how the um, how the base of this uh, cockpit sits there so you can see that I've removed some of the location parts there and I've had to put a stopper they just add a bit of uh, block of sheet styrene so when the back flange there of the cockpit goes in like that it comes down a little bit so that the floor of the cockpit is lower so therefore I can fit the ejection seat. Are you following yet? <laughs> so this took uh, a night or more of finagling to get done but this is all glued in. Oh and the other thing I had to do I had to, to you know this is another thing about in-flight modifications to get the crew to fit in the cockpit I had to just slightly lift and also just to fill gaps um, I've modified the back instrument panel here just to lift it up a smidgen and on the front one I just had to modify a little bit just to make it fill up a hole but unfortunately no that's not Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump that's Iceman I had to uh, ankle deck to me him I had to get his, his uh, is that you? no that's Rio hang on where's the other one come here mate there he is okay so that's the front one I should zoom in here and you can probably hear my cicadas going nuts in the background there I apologize for that and my kids upstairs playing PlayStation even though I told them to be quiet they're not listening okay so I've had to and I thought that would fit oh yeah there we go it's fitting I've had to give him a bit of a knee operation <laughs> to actually fit in there properly but trust me it fits okay so that's done that's done that's done before I can put primer down though oh, where are you camera uh, obviously there's some parts missing from these crew figures I don't know I'll find them in a minute so I gotta fit, finish that but the one thing I, the next thing I want to do uh, is landing gear now why do I want to do landing gear well before us before I prime this all up and paint and so forth there's a big gap there isn't there where is it now upside down Miss Jane I gotta say that in every video sorry big fan of Mr. Squiggle okay so there's the nose gear section it goes in there like that and the nose gear on the F14 has how many pieces from memory? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and actually I've only got four that one of them was missing but it's alright it's just a piece of sheet it's just a uh, what is it a it's like a little triangle where is it where is it oh, I'm so prepared aren't I um, trust me it's a little triangle okay so what I'm gonna do is before I move forward I want to do two things actually I'm going to instead of gluing this in because it doesn't really provide that much of a lip to hold these closed landing gear doors it only just sort of sits there well I'll make my own out of um, okay Ever, evergreen again so I'll make a, a lip for them to go around so I can actually uh, close it up and just do it now before the whole thing is glued together and then the other thing I want to do and if I can just bring this chap on camera is and I mentioned it um, there we go previously the engineering for this is basically just a there's no slotting in there's no nothing there's just uh, resting one two three faces onto uh, another face it's a butt joint so again 
evergreen to the rescue I'm gonna put some some tabs here and here and so before I paint this and have paint this show it on camera Chris before I paint this and I'm gonna to have to be doing a lot of fiddling um, to make this fit just right because I know this is gonna be the most notorious fit out of all once I've got that engineer properly then I can go ahead and prime and paint everything and while that's probably going off so let me put that back um, I've got to clean up the nose which is not really well molded at all and I need to fix some of the flaws on the um, canopy least of which is where is it I showed you in the last video there's a chip missing on one side there I think it's I think it's down there and I need to polish this because this is a good quality border models Lancaster clear part it's got scratches and things all over it but that should be easy to fix so I've still got a lot of finaling to do before we even get to the painting so let's roll the camera around and magic of editing it should all be done one. the most frustrating part of this build has been trying to get the cockpit nose section to fit nicely into the completed fuselage and I knew this was going to be a problem because you could just tell by the engineering or lack thereof of how they're going to get this in here now after many minutes of uh, close to an hour now of sanding away that top part there and cleaning up they had two lips here on either side a lip on either side of this part uh, yeah and also I had to detail where the cockpit end sits so I could get it in there I've worked out how basically I've got two options I can either have the bottom let's see if I can get this in camera I can either have this bottom section there fit really nicely Okay, which I just can't seem to do. Oh, there we go. Okay, you can have it nice and you can see the problem. Or I can have that fit nicely at the in this area. I'll point with my pointer in this area, and the bottom fit really badly. Let's see if I can replicate that on camera. So, okay, see the big gap there. If I close the gap, you get a massive gap down there. So, yeah, 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 yeah. What do you do? Well, actually, I've worked out what to do. So, oops, I'm just about to knock out my. Uh, crew there. So what I've done is I've added just, I'll, I've started on this side, I'll add some more on this side, I've added a bit of 4mm by 1mm stock and that'll help just get that to just sit on there nicely to, to clean it up and there you go, you can see how it's sitting there fairly nicely but what you need to do, and I'm going to put this down and then maybe rejig the camera, Oop, let's go, yep I'll have to rejig the camera so just Go have a smoke or something while I do this because I'm not editing this bit out. Whenever I say edit this bit out, I don't actually intend to. Okay, so if I sit it there like that, and then the trick is not to glue this back half of the cockpit together, is to actually sit it on those two bits down the bottom, you get that gap, and then to push and actually squeeze the parts, the parts, there we go, kind of, away like that. You can almost see it. Ah, bloody hell. <laughs> this model is too big for my workbench, even though my bench is, what, 60 centimeters by three feet. So if I put it on there, try that again, and squeeze it, squeeze it, uh, I kind of get it closed, kind of. It's still gonna be a gap, but that's, that's more manageable than having to put big sheets of styrene. So what am I gonna do? Well. To make that as best as possible is to replicate these sawtooth things here on this side on that side and um, I will probably put the equivalent along the edge here I'll probably do a long piece so probably uh, a good inch long or 25 mil long like that so it gives it somewhere to grip on the inside there unfortunately or I might have to remove that lip entirely I might actually do that remove that lip and then put it on the inside and have it poking down so that it's got some purchase when it clicks into there and then when I assemble the cockpit put that down when I actually and it's all done I'll just need to paint it when I have the painted cockpit put in here I'll glue the front together clean up this seam this seam I also I need to put the uh, the new light on there and then the nose I'm gonna have to do a similar engineering trick because that's just another silly butt joint Okay, like that, um, which fits sort of, uh, uh, kind of, oh yeah, fits all right, okay, but what I'll do, it's got one tab on each side, what I'll do again is I'll just put a little bit of that sawtooth around the side there, so it's got something more to purchase on, clean that all up, and then slot that in, but don't glue 
this side together, particularly at the top there, so I've got more to play with, and hopefully <laughs> that'll do. So it looks like this is going to take as much time to, to build and finish as the entire airframe at the back has, so let me get stuck into it. So this is where I'm at. I've got to put this aside before I'll lose my mind. <laughs> Uh, because I'm I'm trained to do Tamiya stuff, not this sort of stuff. But anyway, I've I've put on as many sawtooth bits as I can. I've done a few more trial fittings of the cockpit. I think I might find just sanding a little bit more back of this, even though it might create a gap. It'll give me more movement because I find that when I put this in, uh, it seems to on this sawtooth, whatever I call it, the return, it seems to bind up there. So even though if I open up that gap, it, it will create a permanent gap. It may give me that room to squeeze it all in. I also still need to trim off the top of this because when this sits and press it in, as you can see all this bloody tape I've got on, even as it sits there, there's going to be a lip and I want to get rid of that lip. Lips and steps, you don't want gaps you can fill easily. Lips and steps are a lot harder to uh, deal with without losing a shed load of detail. So that's done. Almost done. <laughs> Uh, I've added some more here so we can put this one piece nose on like that. Um, it will just fit. I might need to do some adjustment to the nose itself here. There's a lip that step there you can feel. Uh, but that's a lot better than what it was. And the last thing, but I will wait till the next video update to show you how to do this. Uh, the nose gear. So I've got to fit that into, into this massive opening here. And unfortunately, I do have a missing piece. So one of the, um, if you're familiar with the Tomcat, uh, it's got four, one, two, three, or five doors at the front for the big nose. Okay, it's got one big one, one little one there, then it's got a single one at the back, which just fits into this slot here. That's easy to do. But unfortunately on this kit, it was it's missing the adjacent small door, which is easy to make because it's just mirrored on the other side. So I'll just cut one out of sheet styrene and put it to there. And I'll have not finished this, but I need to glue that together. And you can see what I've done here to actually get it to fit in there. So next update, I'll, um, I'll show you how I fix that up. And hopefully get these guys all painted up and ready to go. So until then, see you later.